Welcome back to Sledgehammer Horror, guys. I'm Ashley Sledge, and let's talk horror. So today we are here to recognize the villain of the month for July. And who might that be? It is Michael Audrey Myers, who was born October 9th, 1957. Please, please give him a round of applause, everybody. Um, let's learn a little bit about Michael. How many kills might Michael have? He crowns for the highest number of kills among slasher villains with a whooping 161 kills, his lovely wall and artistic kills. How many times has Michael been killed? Let's get into it. So let's talk about 78. He was shot six times. I shot him six times. What? I shot him six times. I, I shot him in the heart. Did not die in Halloween 2. He was in the hospital explosion, but escaped it. Halloween 4, shot multiple times, falling into a grave. Halloween 5, he was shot by a tranquilizer and was beaten to death by Loomis, or almost to death, because in Halloween 6, he is back and he is shot up with a tranquilizer again and beaten with a lead pipe and hanged. Halloween H2O, he is beheaded. Or is he beheaded? Because in Halloween Resurrection, it wasn't him, but it was a paramedic. But in this one, he is electrocuted and left in a house to burn. Then we go on to Rob Zombie's Halloween. Him and Lori, they fall over the balcony, and he does not die in this one. In Rob Zombie's Halloween 2, Michael is shot, impaled, and then stabbed by Lori. In 2018, he's set on fire in Lori's basement, but he is still breathing post-credit. And then kills, he's beaten by a mob, but doesn't die. And then he does, or as of now, dies and ends when Lori slits his wrist and chops him up and puts him in a trash compactor. So that is all the times that Michael has died and come back. Michael's strengths, Michael possesses superhuman strengths. He can lift victims off the ground. He can crush your head. He can smash through walls. He can drive his thumbs through a cranium. He is very intelligent. He's durable. He has great knifemanship. He is very persistent. And his tracking is on point. Um, best kills, Curse of Michael Myers, electrocuting John Strode. John totally deserved it. Nurse Karen's kill in the hot tub in Halloween 2. And then when he stomped Sartain's head in 2018. We cannot forget, though, the iconic Judith Meyer kill in 1978, where it all began for Michael. His weaknesses, he wears a mask to hide his face and his emotion. He's quite handsome and doesn't want anybody to see he is, in fact, a real human man. Every time someone takes his mask off, he quits killing. His arch nemesis, Lori Strode, obviously, who did finally take him out in Halloween Ends, or as of now, he took, she took him out and Dr. Samuel Loomis. Some facts about Michael Myers is he is heavily regarded as horror's most iconic figure. He is notorious for igniting the slasher genre and inspiring many other fictional killers in pop culture, most notably Jason Voorhees. And even now, over 40 years later, he remains among, if not the most popular fictional serial killer in horror history. John Carpenter said he based his character off of a boy that he seen in a psychiatric hospital that he was visiting. He said that he had this schizophrenic stare, a real evil stare. The blackest eyes, the devil's eyes. Although Myers has more alternative timelines than virtually any other slasher, that's true. We have to give them that one. What makes him compelling is that every reimagination is tied to the original film from 1978. So it adds this meaning to that bloody night that occurred almost 45 years ago. And it makes sure his debut always remains relevant. Thank you guys so much for watching Villain of the Month. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It helps our channel more than you know. Keep talking horror. Stay who you are. Bye guys.